A relief print is an image created by a woodcut where the areas of the block that are to be shown are printed in black typically and are on the original surface of the wood, i.e. not cut away. The parts of the block that are to be blank or white are the areas that have been cut away or removed. Mark making. The variety of tools that are available vary in quality. The best are of Japanese steel, even if they were inexpensive to buy. The tools that we find in a woodcutting toolkit are usually two V-shaped tools, two U-shaped tools, and a flat knife. The block used can be wood or linoleum, depending on the effects you wish to obtain. Wood tends to give you a wood grain effect, and generally you would not be able to get flat colour. But with MDF and linoleum, due to their smooth nature, you would be able to get flat colour. Printing the image, therefore, is a relatively simple matter of inking up the surface of the block, bringing it in firm contact with the paper, and print. A printing press may not always be needed, as the back of the paper can be rubbed or pressed by hand with a simple tool like a baron or a wooden spoon. We will be creating a three-colour print. One colour will be white, one grey and one black. The trick is that you'll be creating two colours at the same time. As you'll be able to see in the next section, you'll be cutting away the white or highlights, inking up the grey or the mid-tone, and then black will tie it all together. The image. You need to have an idea of what the image should look like right from the beginning. Refer to an image that you have and simplify it. It may be a photograph or a drawing. Transfer the image to tracing paper, either with a photocopier or hand draw the image straight onto the block. Start the first cut using a variety of tools shown. Once you are happy with your first cut and marks, use a graphite pencil and a thin sheet of paper, like newsprint. Rub the pencil on the top and you can roughly see what your first colour or cut may look like. To print more than one colour, registration is imperative. There are two kinds of registration, using a sheet of PVC marked to where the block and the paper should go, or using the L-shaped block marking where the block and the paper should go. You need to do the registration and adjust the height of the press before you ink up. Colours and inking up. Always remember you go from light to dark. The lightest colour goes down first and then you would print the mid-tones and then the black or the dark tone. In Edinburgh Printmakers we use oil-based ink. It is slow drying and has a glossy finish. The use of manganese dryers is very important if you are planning to print more than one colour and if you want to have your print drying in the next millennium. Make sure you've mixed up enough ink to cover the addition as it's very hard to recreate a colour. Using the spatula, create a reservoir of your chosen ink, roughly the size of the roller that you have chosen. It's good to have a roller that's larger than the image to prevent lines from appearing on the block. Prevent over inking and give an even coating of the ink on the block. Make sure that the ink is not too thick when it comes to inking up. If it sounds gloopy or sticky, then it's too thick. Pulling and pressing the print. Once inked up, place the L-shaped block on the press for registration. Place the block on the press bed, face up, naturally. Paper on the top, registering the paper and block carefully. Place the boards or the timpan sheet on top of the paper, roll the press through, pull the handle, okay. press, roll out, reveal the print. The first print usually is not the best, as the ink is still soaking into the block. The more you print, the better the block becomes. Second colour. To create the second colour block, you need to cut away what you have remaining of the grey and the white. Cut away at your block so that all is left is the outline holding and defining the print. Once you have cut away all the grey, take it back to the inking up area Ink up the black the same way as you've inked up the mid-tone. Using the same L-shaped block, place the inked up block within that and then your paper in exactly the same place. Again, put the boards or the timpan sheet on the top, the paper on top of that, roll the press through, pull the handle, press, roll out, reveal the print. And voila! You have a simple wood block print and because you have used dry paper, you have to leave time for the ink to dry and the paper should retain its shape. Leave the print to dry on the rack for about two to three days.